welcome aboard. Take any available seat, please fasten your seatbelt. Thank you. My name is uh, William Bayless. I'm the assistant chief pilot for Wing Club 2. How is this different from the last Goodyear flight that came to the Bay Area? Oh, uh, night and day. Uh, the pilots, we spent roughly three to four months just transitioning to this new model. In three words, it's bigger, it's faster, more maneuverable. What's your favorite thing about flying? It's never the same. Um, I kind of joke with people, I used to be an airline pilot, and then I got a good job. Uh, you know, flying jets, it's, it's mostly numbers, you're flying speeds. This, it's all feel. It's all, you know, no takeoff and landing in, a, in an airship. It's ever the same. It's always different. We took off sideways. We did. So uh, that's the thing with blimps is, uh, believe it or not, this thing's longer than a 747. It's longer than an Airbus A380. There's a 250-foot sail above us, essentially. So when that wind shifts, even 30, 40 degrees, that catches that sail. And, uh, you know, it's no big deal as long as um, we're in a nice open field in Livermore. We just... Vector up, take off. Have take off, half settle. Half thrust. Forward settles. All right, free to take off your seatbelts. Move around as you like, take plenty of pictures. Uh, any questions, uh, let Matt do the flying. Uh, I can answer for you. There's a lot more creature comfort, as you can see looking around for the passengers. Um, a lot bigger gondola. We can seat 10 plus two pilots in this one. The old airships, we sat six passengers plus one pilot. As far as the maneuverability, I mean, we can hover whenever we want in this thing, which is great for us doing aerial coverage. The network director says, I like that shot. Can you hold it? I'm like, all right, vector up, flip the aft engine down, and we can hold it for that shot. The sun angle and get the great aerial coverage Goodyear always provides. Now, technically, this isn't a blimp. Yes, that's correct. Technically, this is a semi-rigid airship. The old model is a true blimp. It's just air and helium above you. This one, being a semi-rigid airship, we have internal structure running from nose to tail. It's a combination of carbon fiber and aluminum trusses that run the length of the ship. I mean, we can take off and land vertically in this thing. A lot more like a helicopter than the last one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of how I explain it to people. It's a combination of flying one of these. It's, uh, it's a combination of airplane, helicopter, and boat. What's, what's the boat part? Uh, you see how we're flying through the air right now, all right? Flying in an airplane, you have turbulence, right? And that's the thermals, the different changing winds that shakes the wings. We don't have wings. We have helium. So it's just like a, a ship on the ocean. So right now we're flying through a thermal. It's lifting the nose of the ship. As we fly through it, three seconds, now it's going to start lifting the tail. So you can see where we get the name airship. Just, uh, flying through a different fluid, be it air instead of water. What was it like learning to fly one of these? Um, well, all of us, we currently have nine Goodyear Blimp pilots certified in the world. Um, we're training another two right now, maybe another three soon. We need the, the basics of flying, and then we teach you how to fly a Goodyear Blimp. All in-house, all in the seat, on the job train. There's no Blimp school, except Goodyear's. I mean, the, the only way you're gonna learn to fly a Blimp is if you work for a company that operates one. There's no Blimp simulators. There's no autopilot on airships. It's there's just so many atmospheric and environmental effects on an airship in flight that you just can't you can't replicate it. You just have to get the experience uh, flying. We've got uh, roughly seven and a half thousand cubic meters of helium above us right now. Something as simple as say the sun going behind a cloud bank while we're flying, the ship will get heavier just like that. What are some of the cutting edge advancements on this? Fly by wire is the huge difference. It's the uh, the old model we flew, the GZ20 Alpha, uh, was all cables and pulleys. Um, we had an elevator control wheel that controlled the uh, elevator surfaces on the back of the butt, just by cables all the way back, 150 feet behind us. And of course, rudder pedals. We had big old pedals that required four to 500 pounds of leg force. You had a windy day. Passengers going on and off, you, you, you two at a time, it's like Noah's Ark, two by two. 
We took everybody off at the same time the balloons start floating away. Yeah. Just one at a time on the ladder. Thank you Take very your time. much. You're welcome. Just one at a time. Oh, we're still floating.